Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Madden 21 Ultimate Team video on the channel. And today, I'm going to be talking about what you guys need to be doing in Madden right now. What you guys need to be playing, what challenges you need to be doing, and what you need to get accomplished. I felt like this is a fair video I needed to make since Series 5 did just come out on Friday. Which, I want to say I apologize for not a lot of videos over the weekend. Once again, busy grinding the court domination. For NBA Superguard, I gotta figure out a schedule and a way to upload videos. Because it's just really, really hard to be able to upload videos, live a normal life, and play the court domination. So, I'll try and figure it out for you guys. And uh, get a more consistent upload schedule over the weekends but I feel like I'm doing pretty good on the weekdays but enough about that before we get in the video guys make sure you guys drop a like down below and subscribe with noties on but yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get right in the video like I said we're gonna be talking about today what challenges you need to do ways you can make coins players you need to pick up and just what you guys need to be doing in Madden right now to be the most efficient and the best possible Build your best team, have the most fun. That's what we're going to be talking about. Starting off, obviously, last Friday was Series 5. Um, I didn't make videos over going over the Ultimate Legends or Series 5, so we're going to talk a little bit about those in this video, but we're not going to go super in-depth. Starting off, I want to say uh, we got the Black History Month promo on Friday as, as well as Series 5, and then with that, we got Team Captains and we got Team of Builders, so just make sure you guys go ahead, pick up your Team Captain tokens, all that kind of stuff, and then obviously, we had Ultimate Legends last Saturday, um, which was Jim Thorpe, Derek Thomas, and Antonio Cromartie, the LTD, so those three Ultimate Legends are in the game. Jim Thorpe, I believe he played for the Cardinals and the Giants, um, or at least that's the teams they put him on, so there you guys go there um and then that's pretty much all the content we've gotten since i've been gone on madden like i said i apologize for no videos being out over the weekend going over madden um but now i feel like we're just gonna kind of sum up what happened like i said all that pretty much happened now i want to talk about the challenges you guys need to be completing and how you're going to earn yourself the the best stuff to do possible and just earn the best rewards one thing they did announce is rivals is over so they're just not going to give us the rest of the rivals which is completely dumb someone needs to get fired for that the fact that we just didn't get rivals for three series and they just canceled it and now we're not even gonna get that it sucks like normally we would get the journey or we would get the gauntlet or is it called the gauntlet i don't remember exactly but we would get journey or something like that and at the end of that we'd get a golden ticket or something or a free ultimate legend um if we completed all of them and now we're just not going to get anything like that this year, which just sucks because that's what Rivals was supposed to be this year. It was a new journey, but we're not getting that this year, which really sucks. It is what it is, though. Um, but yeah, so just want to inform you guys there. No, no, no Rivals for the rest of the year. Um, but talking a little bit, make sure you guys get your Black History Month challenges done. That's what I want to start off at the end of this next Friday. We're going to get be getting a free 95 overall out of this. Now, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work, right? So, just make sure you complete your challenges. They don't expire weekly, so you can go and complete them next Thursday if you want to. But I'd recommend just staying up to date. As you guys can see, I earned Fritz Pollard. You only need to get one star in every challenge to go ahead and get the player. You just need to complete all five. Um, this week, Doug Williams, and you're going to go ahead and earn him by completing the challenges. And once you complete all five, you're going to get Doug Williams. Same with Fritz Pollard, and it's going to be the same with the guy next week. Now, I'm assuming we're going in chronological order. So, with Fritz Pollard, he was from like the 20s and the 50s, right? And Doug Williams was from the 70s and 80s, obviously played for the Bucks and won the Super Bowl with the football team. So, I'd imagine we either get like a, probably a Colin Kaepernick next week if I had to guess. That would make the most sense. Other guys, maybe... Um, I'm not really sure. I would have thought we would have got like the first black hall of famer and then maybe like Doug Williams. Um, but it is what it is. Um, I guess we're probably just getting in Colin cabinet. Cause like I said, it's probably going to go in, um, a timeline order where we just get the new most recent thing. And that would probably be Colin Kaepernick. So that's pretty cool. Um, make sure you guys are completing those. You're going to get a free 95 next Friday. If you do that, like I said, I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work, whether they're going to add a set in the game where you exchange all three nineties, or if you just complete every single star, you go ahead and get yourself the 95 overall. Um, We'll have to see what it is next week, and uh, I'll make a video of that when that comes out, hopefully. Um, now we got the Ultimate Legend Challenges. Obviously, play your Ultimate Legend Token Challenge every week. But one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and complete a lot of these Ultimate Legend Challenges. Like I've said, I've been very, very busy over the past few weeks with NBA Supercard. So, 
trying to fit time to play Madden. It's mainly going to happen during the beginning of the week. Whenever I find time, when I'm not recording, when I'm not watching movies and all that kind of stuff, I'm going to be playing this for sure. So I would just recommend playing all these challenges because you get free power-ups, which are going to sell between 2 to 10k, and you're going to be getting 3,000 coins per challenge. And if you're doing all of these, especially with some of these power-ups like Nam the Awesome Wa, Brian Dawkins, um, like Randall Cunningham, all those power-ups probably sell for a solid amount and if they don't sell for a solid amount right now you could save those power-ups and sell them later in the year when they get a new card let's say randall cunningham gets a i don't know easter card and it's like a limited or it's a yeah we'll say it's a limited time card his power-up is going to skyrocket so that's just a way you're going to be able to make three coins by just playing some challenges same with ultimate legends release too you're going to get uh, jim thorpe and derek thomas obviously derek thomas's power up is less rare because he was part of the most feared but i'd imagine jim thorpe's power up isn't going to be crazy common i not a lot of people are playing these challenges no one really ever plays these challenges too much in madden so every year so uh just go ahead and earn yourself the power ups and it's just free coins and then also weekly always play your ultimate legends token so you can earn yourself your free ultimate legend after i believe what like 15 18 weeks something like that i can't remember exactly and then moving down earn yourself your free team of the year player as you guys know i've been very busy i have not had time to play really any challenges i've tried playing this they just take so long i'm gonna go and complete them whenever i get the chance but play your team of the year challenges earn yourself a free team of the year player um if you want to you can play the super bowl challenges obviously the collectibles and stuff are all gone so they're not super worth it um if you want to go and play the super bowl present you can earn the collectibles you can earn the nat 90 to 91 overall super bowl players if you want to play the super bowl pass you can earn yourself some net 90 to 91 overall super pass players but those are really if you're only in super need of those cards um obviously men club championship you can't really do that anymore uh legend challenges this is another way that you can make a ton of coins is these legend challenges you can go back into these challenges let's say like i don't know jimbo cove no, no he's not a good example because he won't be worth much let's say troy vincent gets another upgrade later in the year and his card is super good like he gets a theme builder or a theme uh, yeah like a theme builder right and his power up skyrockets in price you could complete this challenge and get 3,000 coins and get his power up and maybe it sells for 50k at the time and you're making 50k from playing one full game of madden like it's so worth it if these cards are in if power ups are very valuable at the time or just in general you want to go ahead and earn some coins play some of these challenges one if you finish all the ultimate legends play some of these because you're going to be able to earn a ton of coins out of here these ones are still available you can play them you're going to be able to earn 23k from those eight challenges along with the eight power ups so it's well worth it to just go ahead and play these challenges and earn yourself some extra coins of power ups very similar to the ultimate legends um get your 50 challenges done obviously earn yourself your free 50 player um and then moving down i would recommend at least playing your team standouts team standouts challenges i would highly recommend playing um or is it yes yeah, team standouts i completed i believe series one. Oh no it's not team standouts is it yeah it's wait teams oh i that's team diamonds that's my bad yeah make sure to clear your team standouts that's that's definitely something you want to do as you guys can see i completed series one um i yeah i completed series two and well series three and series two and series three i have not completed series four yet just like i said i've been very busy with nba supergirl and all that kind of stuff i plan on getting it done earning yourself a free um team standout just really nice to have um um, and also you can go ahead and complete team builders if you want to earn yourself some free 92 overall players or whatever you want They're pretty easy challenges. Just once again, you play full games You get yourself a free player out of it theme teams need to go and do those well worth it in my opinion And then once we start getting down here ultimate kickoff and NFL epics not really worth it at this point you're not going to be getting anything that's going to be helpful to your team really because you get an 88 from here and a 485 from this so not super worth it unless you need some coins and you want to grind challenges uh but make sure you guys are completing your level challenges as well um as you guys can see i'm not quite leveled up i plan on leveling up whenever i get the chance um and i'm gonna try and do that but if you guys are not leveling up make sure to do that and once you hit the level tier complete the level challenges so you can upgrade your andre johnson if you're a lower tier team if you're like the best team in the game there's no real point in upgrading andre johnson you can still do it because it's cool to have but he's not a very good card um for top tier but he's still a solid card for like mid tier and low tier teams so 
Andre Johnson still a very very solid card but those are all the challenges I think you guys need to complete make sure you guys get those done now I do want to talk a little bit about the missions a little more um starting off with Mutt Master make sure you complete your Mutt Master series 5 stuff 50 force fumbles extremely easy you can either do a designed blitz play where you get an opening go to the quarterback play the challenge on easy or go into a full game play it on easy and just force fumbles like crazy and then i'm not exactly sure what to do with these interceptions with sam mills um i would look at either like xerxes channel or poodle's channel or someone like that who would up upload a video talking about how to get these interceptions i'm not exactly sure how to do that but you guys can go and find out and then also if you complete two of them you get another token to upgrade sam mills but this is super worth it to do you get 150k if you go ahead and complete all four of these objectives really really nice stuff and you have to do it before the series ends or you only get 35k after that series so just make sure to do that it's a free 150k well worth it in my opinion and then obviously with much dedication do your daily um objectives get your free coins every day about 6k um go ahead and do that it's well worth it and you're also going to go ahead and get a lot of these daily engagement stuff as you guys can see i'm at what like 85 i have not been keeping up with it crazy this year but i've been doing okay i would recommend you guys keep up with it though because i believe at this point we're probably somewhere near 175 somewhere near there if i had to guess i'm not exactly sure and then another thing if you guys play a lot of multiplayer i really don't play a ton of online in this game but if you guys do do this it is well worth it just if you're like at let's say it's a week before series 5 ends and you have like 48 online wins if you just go ahead and get 50 you're gonna get 60 series trophies right um and if we go and take a look what can 60 series 5 trophies get you that can get you um it could get you a midfield pack which is 10k it could get you three it could get you the coach john madden if you want to get you a series 5 team captain token it's just well worth it to go ahead and get those free trophies because if you were to complete all those through 50 you'd probably get somewhere between two to three hundred and with that you can buy a couple red zones or you can maybe even buy an elite player coin packs you'll buy the coach Madden collectible if you wanted so there's just a lot to do with trophies if you have the chance to earn some trophies by just playing one or two online games and winning just do it it's well worth it um but yeah guys that's pretty much all i wanted to talk about in this video video got a little longer than i expected um i don't really know any great coin making methods at this point in the game there have not been many loopholes this year man has been tight about that um if you're looking for loopholes check out gut fox or more coin making methods check out gut fox check out guys like that who are really into that but today i just wanted to talk about what challenges you need to do what you need to just be doing daily on a daily basis in the game but before we end the video i want to go ahead and open up one all pro fantasy because i love opening up these all pro fantasies they're cheap and you get good stuff out of them sometimes so starting off in the first round we just get trayvon Diggs, which isn't too bad i guess and in the second round we get a core lead big ben anthony sherman Graham Gano, Jair Alexander, and a Harvest Ben Gedeon. So, definitely not the best pack, but it is what it is. Do these guarantee you elites in the second round now? Because normally, I don't get all elites, which that's a little weird. Uh, well, I'll I'll go ahead and check the odds. Maybe maybe it does guarantee you all elites in the second round. And if it does, that's better at least. It's better than golds because um they're definitely better. Yeah, it's two 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 of five eighty plus players. So that's nice. It's all elites in those that final round for those packs now, which is really good. Uh, but yeah, guys, this video is getting a little long. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe with no design. But yeah, I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out.